If you're thinking about deleting your Facebook account, you may want to reconsider because Jada Pinkett Smith's Red Table Talk has been picking up steam since its debut on the platform in 2018. The show has a knack for eliciting honest confessions from its hosts and its guest stars. And here are its biggest shockers. The Kardashian-centric scandal involving pro basketball star Tristan Thompson and model Jordan Woods erupted in February 2019 and dragged out for months. The gossip was this. Khloe Kardashian's baby daddy, Thompson, was caught at his own house party in Los Angeles allegedly cheating with Woods, who was Kylie Jenner's BFF. The outrage was immediate, sending the Kardashians into a fury. There's a video of Tristan making out with a girl last night. I know, Khloe's gonna die. Woods may have had only one place to go to tell her side of the story, Red Table Talk. I should have gone home after the party. I shouldn't even have been there. Woods is lifelong friends with Jada's son, Jaden, so the ladies were already familiar with each other. During the conversation, Woods tried to set things straight about what did and didn't happen with Thompson at that infamous party. Never once was I giving him a lap dance, making out with him, sitting all over him. Woods admitted that she shouldn't have gone to the party but maintained her innocence. She claimed the NBA player did give her a kiss as she was leaving. Afterward, Woods supposedly called the Kardashian clan, admitting, I was honest about being there, but I wasn't honest about the actions that had taken place. Considering Chloe lashed out at Woods on Twitter immediately after the episode, this Red Table Talk confession was a biggie, but it may not mend any fences. these hoes, and I'm done! Jada doesn't shy away from sharing her past demons. In an episode titled Girls Trippin', the actress explained that while working on the girlfriend relationships portion of her show, actress Gabrielle Union kept popping up into her mind. Why was that weird? Jada confessed. Gabrielle and I were never really girlfriends. We no. were great associates that at some point that dissolved. She added, For 17 years, we have not really spoken. You don't even know what you're mad about, okay? We don't. Although neither of the A-listers have opened up much about their apparent falling out, Union did offer some insight on the Today Show in May 2018, saying, Neither one of us actually knows what originally you know, took place back then, but the people that we had around us oh. were like, well, you know how she feels about you. Yeah. She added, And it was uh -huh. like, okay, for <laughs> girl bot yeah. for 17 years. Wow. Jada invited Union to appear on Red Table Talk and revealed that she had finally apologized to the Bring It On star. It felt so good on the phone with you to even just go, hey, I'm sorry that I didn't even take the time to talk to you. Jada then admitted, And just thinking to myself, damn, Jada, that was some petty ass But at the same time going, well, that's where you were then. Thank God you're someplace else now. It seems that Willow Smith wasn't as carefree as the world thought when she released her single Whip My Hair in 2010, when she was only nine years old. During a Red Table Talk episode, Jada asked her daughter to discuss her biggest loss in life, and what Willow revealed was totally unexpected. She detailed the dark place she found herself in after the global pandemonium that accompanied her hit song. According to Billboard, the track peaked at number 11 on the Hot 100 chart and garnered a whopping 1.6 million downloads. The youngest Smith was immediately shot to superstardom. Bruce Springsteen even covered the tune on Late Night with Jimmy Fallon. Yet, as she told her mother and grandmother on the show, Willow lost her footing during it all. She said, It was after that whole whip my hair thing and I had just like stopped doing singing lessons. Right. And I was kind of like just in this gray area. At the time, she questioned, Like, is there anything like that I can do besides this? But her pain went even deeper than that. And I was just like plunged into this like black hole. Mm -hmm. And I was, like, cutting myself. What? Luckily, Willow found her way out of that dark place. She revealed, One night I was just like, this is actually psychotic. And after that, I just stopped. That's it's, good to freaking yeah, know. It's like Rapper and actor Common got real about his quest for love during an episode of Red Table Talk, discussing how his past hardships and destructive cycles hindered him from getting married. I was hurt, and I was mad, too. The performer revealed that he'd been abused when he was young, one of multiple hardships and challenges he addressed in his memoir, Let Love Have the Last Word. In the book, Common also gets personal about his past relationship with legendary crooner Erica Badu. Speaking to people about the book, he revealed that his split with Badu was heartbreaking, saying, With Erica Badu, that was my first love where you're just open and floating. When we split, I was in a haze, just going through the motions. On the show, the rapper revealed that these days he's finally ready to settle down. I would like to be a husband, but for a long time I was in and out with that. Like, do I really want to be a husband or am I doing this because this is what society right. says? 
Having found a seat at the table, it looks like Common has learned to practice some proper self-love. There's no denying that husband and wife team Will Smith and Jada Pinkett Smith are celeb couple goals. Together for more than 20 years, they're clearly doing something right, along with constantly dodging dirt about infidelity and swinging. Vibe. We've come through some stuff. This is a, this a, yeah. this a gangster right here in front of y'all. This, this little one here, a gangster. <laughs> when the topic of cheating came up during a Red Table Talk episode, you best believe fans were tuning in. Girl, we got girl. our girl, Astaire yes. Perel, yes. here today to talk about infidelity. Mm -hmm. This is going to be a good one. Sitting down with her mom, Adrienne, Jada opened up about her marriage, explaining that while she and Will have been faithful to one another, there have been other unconventional betrayals. You know, I'm too. asked a lot, was there infidelity in your relationship with Will? And it's like, no, but there have been other betrayals right. of the heart that have been far bigger. Mm -hmm. Perhaps the secret to their successful union is the fact that they've stopped looking at marriage in a conventional sense. In another episode of the show, the Gotham actress revealed that she and Will have even stopped celebrating momentous occasions, such as their anniversary, explaining, It's more of a life partnership. Yeah. She added, We don't really celebrate that day because the context of our union is totally different. It's no secret Jada and Will have had to defend their marriage against rumor mill vultures over the years. The A-listers confessed to troubles in their marriage, admitting that they had to, quote, destroy parts of it in order to come out stronger together. One day our marriage came crashing down. Will admitted, We broke up mm -hmm. within our marriage and got back together again. Right. Yeah. I had to rebuild I had to rebuild different. with new rules yeah. and... Something way different. He said, I took off for two years. Yeah. Yeah. I worked on myself. I've read... 50 books yeah. on marriage. He then added, I shut down for two entire years to see what, what was I doing wrong. Yeah. The couple cleared those hurdles and are now stronger than ever. Little things such as taking, quote, 10 days out of the year to do what the other wants apparently keeps the connection fresh. As for all the gossip, Will decided to set the record straight at the end of the episode. Hold on, let's clear some rumors. We've never been Scientologists. Okay, um, what else? We've never been swingers. Never been swingers. Never been swingers. And people understood that that's a specific lifestyle. That While it's easy to believe that Jada and Will are cooler than regular parents, there has been some trouble in their household. And Willow and Jaden made big confessions to their mom on an episode of the show. When Jada asked her kids what they thought of their upbringing, Willow got real, saying, I only have one, like, really terrible experience, which is, which is with my hair. She added, you and daddy should have been okay. We value her musical growth and knowledge more than her popularity. Willow wasn't the only one feeling the pressure of fame. Jaden admitted he went through the same thing during Karate Kid. Jada fought back tears, and while sharing a confession of her own, she revealed, when you become a parent, you have these huge ideals, even for yourself, because we all are coming into parenting with our own childhood traumas. She said, and you're hoping that you can fix all that yeah. through your own rearing of your children. And you can. She admitted she did her best as a parent, adding, Your kids are going to have their burdens. And yeah. even though I see how it might have hurt you, it's what I knew. A lot of female empowerment went down during Sierra's appearance on Red Table Talk. People see me glammed up and everything looks like it's good and everything is not always good. good. When she appeared on the program to discuss her very public failed relationship with rapper Future, Sierra also confessed to turning her quote, relationship scars into beauty marks. Beauty marks also happens to be the title of her 2019 album, a connection that wasn't lost on Jada. The idea of your album being called Beauty Marks, that really hit me. She added, As we come and go deeper into our womanhood, mm -hmm. how we realize everything that we've been through, nothing's wasted, Is no regrets. When Sierra was asked what fueled the idea for the album, she confessed that becoming a single mom was the catalyst. I'd be like crying because I am not in the happiest place and it hurts when I'm going through it. She admitted she was grieving her vision of the ideal family, saying, I grew with my mom and my dad being together. The idea of it being mommy and daddy that made baby. Yeah. And then also you're living your life in front of the world. Considering Sierra is now in a loving relationship with her hubby, NFL star Russell Wilson, along with her kids, and has yet another hit record under her belt, we'd say the singer has successfully turned the tables. Jada's June 2019 episode of Red Table Talk dove into the topic of polyamory, and she came across the subject when Willow approached her about it. Jada discussed the episode with Jimmy Kimmel, saying, 
It's a thruple that Willow was actually following on Instagram. That's how it all came to be. She I became see. very curious about this whole polyamory thing. When Kimmel asked if that was something Willow would be interested in, Jada said, Possibly, yeah. I don't know. Or maybe know. four. Or Listen, she's 18. Who the heck knows what's going to go <laughs> <Right>. down? <laughs> Jada got personal about her own history at Red Table, saying, I had a threesome once. <laughs> <laughs> I was very, very young, was it like enjoyable? early, early 20s. And she claimed she wasn't into it. It just didn't have the level of intimacy. Mm -hmm. you know, but I tried it yeah. once, yeah. Mm -hmm. and I was like, well, that was, that's not for me. Yeah. <laughs> but she quickly added, If I was yeah, exactly. in love with two people, that's another level. That's yeah. another, that's level. another I level. I could see enjoying a threesome then. The revelation raised eyebrows considering Jada and Will have been plagued in the past by rumors about swinging. During an episode of Watch What Happens Live, the actress addressed that chatter by saying, And I'm like, yo, I wish. Damn. One of Jada's most sensitive subjects to date on Red Table Talk was an unfiltered discussion on racial biases that affect her and other women to this day. Telling her viewers the episode would be, quote, as unfiltered as possible, the mother of two got introspective about her own biases, openly admitting it's something she needs to work on. She confessed, I do have my own biases, I, I specifically with blonde women. Blonde hair on white women just triggers me. Jada shared her own history, revealing, I do remember experiencing being teased by white women in regards to my hair, mm -hmm. how I looked. And it stuck with her into her adult life. And I was, you know, going to, to do an interview with this blonde woman. I thought twice about it. I was like, I don't know if I, I don't know if I want to do that. As Jada, Willow, and Adrian continued to discuss the topic, Jada declared, I feel like we as women should know better. I really do. Because we're women, because of the struggles that we have as women, she added, there should be a natural understanding and familiarity of our struggle. But she says that's not always the case. And then to be part of creating more of a struggle yeah. for another woman to me is yeah. criminal. Yeah. It's clear that Jada hit a nerve and continues to do so with her thought-provoking and genuinely open-hearted series. Man, and that's just real talk. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more Nicki Swift videos about your favorite stars are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.